Hello everybody, Corncob here, and welcome to episode 11 of my Minecraft Let's Play series, and today we're just going to pick right back up where we started last time, and finish the building of the barn, hopefully build the bridge I mentioned several times, and maybe even terraform a couple little fancy paths to connect everything up. I just realized I forgot to mention that I have my window open right now, and I think you guys can probably hear a very incessant bird right now. So, any strange sounds, any strange rumblings, because it's been all rainy today and that may start up again soon, so you may hear some rumbles of thunder. But I like the fresh air, and it's been a while since I've been able to have my window open like this, so I think I'll just keep it that way. And you know what? I just had the thought that I might just go ahead and take my cows down immediately before I do any building. And yes, I, I have done some resource collection, but it doesn't count. I'll take the... They don't want to... They're not cooperating. Oh, there, there we go. This might work better if I take this out. Okay, that works far better. As I was saying, it might help so that they can grow as I'm building and they can get more mature so I can breed them multiple times and stuff. And then we can start getting drops out of our farm. I think we may lose a couple on the way there. Oh no. Oh, sorry. For a second there I thought that cow was going to get stuck under the ice or something. I think that one may be stuck there forever if you can't figure out how to get out of the water. Now here comes the difficult part. Getting them into the hole without falling in myself. And I think that these stairs here may make it a bit simpler than it usually is. But I don't want to keep a hole for them to fall in, that's for sure. So that was cow number one, and we're getting cow number two. Now we have the two that weren't quite with the first group we brought. So he'll go into the hole. There it goes. Come on, buddy. Now we just stick that in there. Oh, that, oh no. They're gonna die. Shoot. No, they're gonna drown. Hold on. Oh. That is a dilemma. Well, take two then, I guess. Oh, great. I feel like this is going much slower than the first time. Now we just see if we can actually get the water to go where it's supposed to this time. There we go. And now... We can open this up, then take our wheat, and do that, and I don't know if we'll have enough for the cramming limit to kick in, and it doesn't look like we do, but soon enough we'll start getting drops out of here. It looks like we did get some earlier. But anyways, it is now time for some building. And I think that I had better turn down my creature sounds. Because that's going to get annoying quick.
All right, that sounds good to me. <laughs> because I can't hear them anymore. I had the idea to bring a bed along with me earlier, but I forgot. I will not forget this time. And I also have an idea of a different way to handle these little side bits. I'm going to take off kind of this corner here. And then I'm going to build a little roof part. And it won't meet up with the main roof. It'll just be a little jutting out part. So I'll take off the corner and then start experimenting with roof styles. No, that doesn't look half bad. I think that that'll be good to put on both sides. And it looks, it probably looks a little bit cobblestone heavy, but on the second floor, these little inlaid wall parts are gonna be made of spruce planks. So that'll provide a good sort of contrast between the cobblestone and the spruce. And now we see if they'll get crammed. Hmm. Looks like we'll have to wait a little while more, I guess. But the roof is coming along pretty well. I may extend this like that. Not sure how that'll look. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it there on that spot. So what my plan is, is I can stick some barrels or something back here in these areas or I could do chests here but I think I think I may stick the barrels in the back I think I like the look of that I was gonna say aesthetic but not sure how that would fit the situation and these trees just are not going down as quickly as I would prefer I just realized that with how the walls need to kind of you know exist I think this is going to have to stay flatter down here and then we can have <laughs> we can have the barrels in here sorry my mind is running two tracks at once trying to think and also trying to speak hmm I think it may be best to do the lower one we can always change it later if I figure out something else but for now I'll switch it over. So here's my idea for how to handle this whole problem with figuring out how to add a wall here. I'll stick this in, put one on the opposite side, then link them up like that, and then we can build the rest of the wall on top of it. I think that that will hopefully look pretty slick. In other news, it's time to see if we can breach the entity the entity cramming limit yet. Hmm. I would have thought we'd get there by now. I think I have to extend this or I will not be able to get around the corners. Nice, that is far less hazardous. Although I probably could have just walked around the middle, but hey. Hindsight is 2020, <laughs> and I need glasses. And now to start on the main roof. And I think that I will keep up the same style I used with the little hangover things. Well, yeah, I don't know what to call those. Overhang. That's, yeah, not even overhang. They're just little side pieces. I don't know. <sighs> I just put in the wrong block. That XP farm is quite the eyesore. <laughs> Wow, I didn't think I'd nail that. That's the second time that's happened. And there it goes. 
You know, I think that during building is when I run through food the quickest because I'm not super precise with my scaffolding. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm not super precise with my scaffolding, so I am constantly falling down. And then, of course, I'm running around back and forth to get different materials and... Oof, I run through a lot of food. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why I lose so much health. <laughs> I am not nearly careful enough. Ooh, wonderful. Now we'll see if we will finally reach the entity cramming limit. There we go. Let's see how much we got. Nice. Then to remove all the scaffolding. I don't want to make the roof super flat, but I don't want to make it look super weird either. Hmm. Because I did sort of go against the pattern on the top of the roof. I just made it kind of close in instead of do the going up one more. Also, this roof just looks strange. I'm just gonna hope it looks better when I've filled in some of the stuff. <laughs> Cause this is gonna be a tall barn, I think. You know, as these aren't on the end, I think that we may be able to get away with taking this out and just sticking in a log. Oh, I look Hold on. And then we can do that on over here. Because there won't be a whole lot of looking at this from the top. Oh wow, we eyeballed that perfectly. And then there should be another one that will come in here. Yep. And then one here. Now we get to see if I land in the water or land on the crops. Nice. It looks like we may have to make use of the same trick as before in putting in this one bit of wall here and then the one on the opposite side of the barn. Yet yeah, another wonderful example of my situational awareness. Those were not supposed to go there. I'm putting in my windows, and I like this kind of look. It's almost like a little porthole in the wall. And these ones will be tiny windows. That makes this look pretty neat. I think it looks a lot better than I was worried it was going to turn out. But I feel like it needs more detailing, and I'm not confident in my ability to make it look good. But I'll try anyway. I think some Fences could be helpful, maybe? There. That's... That's probably... Probably as good as I'm gonna get it for a while. But there's always time to improve. And I will get the floor eventually, but I'm still not entirely sure what I want to do with it. So it'll have to stay grass for now. And now for what we've all been waiting for. The bridge. So what I need to do first is mark out sort of the path that I want the, br the bridge to take. I think I want it to connect up around here-ish, a little bit high up maybe, and then I'm going to make a path from there and kind of wind it up towards the house. And I want it to be three wide, so I'm going to start it there, and then one, two, three, here. And then we'll make it look as though it's dug down deep and 
sturdily. Same with over here. And don't worry about that being water, it will freeze over as long as there's nothing above it. And then I want it to connect up in line with this, probably about hmm, here. So I'll put that and that. Now we gotta figure out how to get from one to the other. And it looks like it's entirely shifted over. So we're going to figure out how many blocks it has to go, how much each post has to shift over, and how far it has to go to do that. So we'll just go by fours. And then we'll go to this end and go by four and then see where that has us meet. Well, the middle one has a gap of five between them, but all in all, I think I actually managed to line this up pretty well. So now we'll get start, well actually first we'll sleep, but then we'll get started on the main construction. I think that that looks pretty good in terms of sort of our base structure, and now I'll we'll start with the path part of it. Hmm. Something is off here. I don't think I realized that these ones were in line with each other. And that is throwing off some of my plans ever so slightly. I think at this point I may as well just continue on with what I have already. I just have to think about how I am going to fix this. I don't know how that guy got in there. I don't think there's any more dark enough for him to spawn. I guess he probably wandered in during the night. So, uh, I kind of went ahead and just finished the bridge without stopping and explaining anything. But I definitely think I'm going to change some things. Because it, there, wa there was a pattern going into it. And it just doesn't look all that great in in practice like you it was wonderful in theory and then I built it so uh I'm gonna fix that real quick well it still looks pretty interesting but looks a lot better than it did before so uh I think it's about outro time but we've gotten a lot accomplished today we finished the barn we built the bridge and we've filled up one of our little semi-automatic farms. And so, on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you stick around for the next one. Bye!